Let me go back to something I heard on Dr. Oz the other day. And uh, there was this lady and she was asking Dr. Oz, why do I get this huge sweat stain under my arm on one side only and not so much on the other? And he was giving the, the standard answer and he said, well, you know, sometimes people sweat more on one side. So here's what you can try. Uh, get a little bit stronger antiperspirant. There are certain things with salts in them and if you put that on on the one side, but let's go back to what we just talked about. We know that the sympathetic nervous system is what produces the sweat. We measure the sympathetic sweat response on, on your hands uh, when we do the stress test. And the same thing holds true for the, for the underarms. Now remember, the cortex inhibits the sympathetic system. The, the stress response is inhibited by the cortex. So that means the side with the more sweating is the one that has a stronger sympathetic response. That means that side has not been inhibited as much. And it's the brain's job to inhibit that stress response so if it's not happening, that side of the brain is weaker than the other side. So the answer to that question is, well, the side that you're sweating more on has a weaker brain because these inhibitions run, run on the same side. A lot of things in the brain will cross over, but these particular inhibitions will run on the same side. So what can you do about it? Well, the, the antiperspirant is temporary it's not really a solution. What you want to do is you want to build the brain so that you can inhibit that stress response. And how do you build a brain? Well, you start using, you start getting adjusted on the right side of your body. You start using the right side of your body to build the left side of your brain. And since the girl was a female and she is typically right brain dominant, her left brain would typically be the weaker side. So if you check the thousand people that were women and they were mostly right brain dominant, they would tend to have more sweat on their left side. Now most people wouldn't have an imbalance large enough to, to show it significantly, but there, there probably would be a little bit there. And you can also do things like that will, that will focus on your left brain. So if you listen to music, for example, and if the music wants to make you move, if you feel like you need to move to it, that's a left brain activity. If the music makes you emotional, then and you, there's a beautiful melody that you want to follow that makes you emotional, that's a right brain activity. If the music has a beat to it, then the left brain is going to try to keep that beat. You can also try to focus on, you can practice logic and linear thinking. You can practice things that, that require those things and you'll build the left brain and you'll reduce the stress response on that side and the sweating will decrease. So that in my opinion is the, the better answer to that question. Thank you.